Good day, class. So, as we have discussed previously, kitchen department is one of the fundamental department in a hotel. They are responsible for cooking dishes and satisfying customer or guest through the food they prepare. So, for today, this would be our learning outcomes. Understand the history of kitchen brigade to know the kitchen roles and responsibility. So, what is kitchen brigade? Okay, so Kitchen Brigade, it is a system of hierarchy found in restaurants and hotels in France that employs ex extensive staff and are commonly referred to as kitchen staff in English-speaking countries. So basically, Kitchen Brigade is a structured team system that delegates responsibility to different individuals that who has a specialized in a certain task. They are divided, the, the, the kitchen is divided in different uh, departments or stations based on the kind of food being produced. And it was the station chef who is placed in charge of each department. And this concept was developed by George August Escoffier. Okay, so during this time, uh, Escoffier is greatest chef of his time. And even today, still, uh, his concept is being used by the hotels, especially those kind of mga hotel bitaw ng mga nag-operate of full service. Okay? And also, his coffee was called the Emperor of Chef and Emperor of the World Kitchen by Emperor William II of Germany. Okay? So, by the use of boat cuisine that is created by Marie Antoine Karim, he modernized it and codified and developed the brigade de cuisine system of the kitchen organization. So basically, um, ang creation or ang concept ni Marie Antoine Karim ang gihimo niya nga kanang basis. Okay, yung gihimo, modernized niya, yung gicodified, yung gi-innovate so that he can develop the brigade de cuisine. Okay, so maugin na siya ang start. And Escoffé uh, has two main contributions. So first, the simplification of classical cuisine and the classical menu. So in here, he rejected what he called general confusion of the old menus. Instead, he called for order and diversity and emphasized the careful selection of one or two dishes per course. Okay, so gitanggal niya ang confusion sa mga menu. Iyahan gi-emphasized and Careful siya nga nag-select kung usa or duha nga dishes per course so that also the 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 guest or ang customer is dili bito sila maglibog especially if the same the same lang ang menu so iya nagitanggal and then emphasize niya ang mga menus and then second the reorganization of the kitchen so he organized his kitchen by the brigade equation system so na siya structured na hierarchy na ang mga ang organizational chart Okay, and then na each section na asya chef de parte. Okay, ang kaning chef de parte mo ani siya mo assist or mutabang sa mga um, chef in each section nga naay lain laing responsibilities. And then the system of organization he established is still used today. Okay, gigamit gihapon siya para sa kong mention kaganiha, especially in large and full service restaurant. Okay, so this is the classical or French organizational kitchen. So as you can see, it is headed by the chef or it is or executive chef and then followed by the sauce chef or the assistant executive chef and then mga different section na sa kitchen. So saucer, saucer, the potage, the poissonier, the entremetier, and, and the recito. Okay, so each section na apod na siya um, under, na apod na siya mga tao under ananiya. So we will be discussing each one of this. Okay, so kitchen brigade position. Okay, so the chef, it is the person in charge of the kitchen. So in large establishment, this person has a little, has a title, I'm sorry, of executive chef. Okay, so the executive chef is the manager who is responsible for all aspects of food production, including menu planning, mga purchasing, mga costing, mga planning of work schedules, hiring, and 
training. If a food service operation is large, then with many departments, then it has several units in different locations. So each kitchen may have a chef de cuisine. So many departments, for example, like formal dining room, mga casual dining room, uh, mga catering department. Okay? And then third one is the sauce chef. So sauce chef, um, it is in charge for the production and work as the assistant of the executive chef or the chef de cuisine. So the word saw is a French meaning under. So meaning under because the executive chef is responsibilities may require a great, great deal of time in the office. Okay, so ang executive chef na alam siya sa office planning, um, katokong gingon kaganiha, inventory. So Dahan ka time, so mo render ka time sa office, then it would be the sauce chef will take the command of the actual production and the minute-by-minute minute supervision of the staff. Okay? Next is the station chef or the chef de parte. So, chef de parte, they are in charge in particular areas of production. Okay? So, each section, just like what I have said kaganiha, nga naana sila different nga chef de parte kada section. And the first section would be the sauce chef or the saucer. So, basically, from the word itself, they prepare sauces, mga stews. Okay? And usually, the highest position of all the station. The second one is the fish cook or the posoni. So, basically... They are responsible for cooking the fish. Okay, so in large commercial kitchen, a cook tasked with preparing and cooking fish and fish dishes. So na apo na siya lain lain ng mga um responsibility. So lahi to ang mo limpio sa fish, lahi to ang mo mo prepare sa fish, lahi po to ang mo cook sa fish. And then another one is the vegetable cook or the entremetier. So entremetier. It is a cook that is responsible for preparing hot appetizers, kanang mga soups, kanang mga starches, and then, and even eggs. Okay, so in large kitchen, it they may divide their duties among the vegetable cook, the fry cook, and the soup cook. Okay, the next one is the roast cook or rotisserie. So this is also known as the roast chef. So, they are in charge for preparing any roasted or braised meat on the menu. This include kanang anything from the steaks, kanang mga lamb, or any other similar items, even um, pork. The next one is the pastry chef or the patissier. <laughs> okay, so it is a chef or baker that specializes in cakes, mga tarts, and other pasty product. Okay. Next one is the relief cook or swing cook or tournant. So, they replace other station heads. If the station head is not available, then they will be the one who will replace them. So, they are the one who will provide help to all the different cooks in the section, different section. And then, cooks and assistants in each station or department help with the duties assigned to them. So, aside from the chef deporte, so the apila and nga cooks and assistants that would help the other chef to perform a certain menu or ang ang dishes. Kaya di ba lang yun na mahimo yun sa chef o siya lang. So, naging na siya yung mga different na mga assistant. Okay? So, that would be all for our discussion regarding the kitchen department. Short lang siya since it will just cover man lang sa kitchen brigade. Wala naman siya ni cover sa other na mga concepts since we will just be highlighting man lang kung unsa ang naaari nga department since it will be discussed man sa other ninyo na mga subject. Okay, so let's do a summary. So, kitchen brigade. So, basically, kitchen brigade, nahunaan lang yun din yung structured team system na siya. Nga naan na siya yung mga, nag-assign na siya of different responsibility to different individuals na nag-specialized po sa mga certain tasks. Okay, so, ah, uh, 
Kitchen Brigade, divided na siya based on the departments or station na nag-base gihapon kung unsa nga type sa food ang prepare. And then, Kitchen Brigade position, so it is headed by the executive chef. And then, the next one is the sauce chef. If the exec executive chef mostly focused on the planning, while the executive, the, I'm sorry, the sauce chef, so he will be the one good nga nag, na, nga nag perform sa face-to-face -face na production in each section. So, na siya different ka section, a potage, which is responsible for the soup, a poissonier, which is responsible for the fish cook, um, entremetier, which is responsible for preparing hot appetizers, um, mga rutusu, which is responsible for roasting the beef, lamb, or other uh, other menu related, and, uh, related in roasting. And then, um, Patissier, which is uh, in charge for baking, specialized cakes, and other pastry products. And then Tornant, which is a called a relief cook. Okay, nga, um, who provide help if um, ang cook sa usa ka certain nga section is not available. Okay, so very short lang atong discussion, but if you have any questions, uh, you can message me directly. And again, on Wednesday, we will have your quiz regarding on the kitchen department. Okay, so thank you everyone. God bless and keep safe.